What's up, Soul Tribe? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with another collective, okay, guys? So, if you guys haven't already subscribed to the tribe, please go ahead and do so by hitting that subscribe button, plus that post notification bell so that you guys can be notified every single time I post another video or go live. Give this video a big fat thumbs up and leave all your thoughts and opinions down below. Check out the description where you guys can find out where to follow me on social media. Media as including my new TikTok because I keep for I keep being about to forget to say that part but go ahead and follow me on TikTok at Empathic Guidance as well okay so without further ado guys we're gonna hop into y'all's next collective reading go ahead and check out that first one especially if y'all trying to manifest love all right so without further ado Holy Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides of the Highest White Light, please use me as a vessel of clear, concise, channel messages as it pertains to the collective, the energies in and around the collective, y'all. Alright, so we pretty much, this might be the back end or this might be a, a message. Mm -mm. <laughs> y'all. <sighs> So, whoever this is, they are trying to come in and tempt you. Now, I told y'all, for those of you that uh, resonate with the first message, you guys have a brand new love coming in. And it is a replacement to a love that was meant to happen, but that person used their free will to take another route. There is people involved on the outside or the back end, exes, possibly ex-friends or whoever that you have eliminated out of your life. Y'all already know we going down to the last two weeks of 2021. So, it's like some people going to make the cut when it comes down to stepping into a new uh, stepping into a new cycle with you. And then other people, they have to get left behind because they just did not grow. Okay? So, whoever this is that did not grow, these people are going to be proclaiming that they've grown. And we did get a message like that. Somebody is pretending to be spiritual. Now, I'm not going to lie. You leaving behind certain people could have served as some type of catalyst to an awakening for certain individuals because it was time for them to take some type of culpability or accountability when it comes down to, you know what I'm saying, whatever it is that they needed to in order to get in alignment for what's meant to happen in a positive way in their life in the future, okay? We all got to go through it, all right? Everybody that's meant, that is meant to happen to in this lifetime, you know, whether you see it on time or you see it after the fact, it got to happen, all right? So whoever this is, it's like y'all, you guys could have not got got along or got on very well because of y'all's difference in beliefs here but whoever this is it's like they realize that they've been resisting change they've been resisting some type of transformation and they are now resisting the fact that you want some type of ending hold on y'all Okay, y'all, we back. All right, but at the end of the day, it took for you to have to end something and start some type of new beginning in order for somebody to really take the situation seriously because they refused to change. So, Cali Mon definitely came in, or this could be your ancestors to take it as it resonates. But uh, something did not, like, transform or, like, your presence in somebody's life didn't help them to transform. And so, unfortunately, you walking out of their life did, okay? So, whoever this is, they do see things from your perspective perspective now but at the end of the day it's like either they took some type of tempting offer and it's like you gave them one last chance and they took the tempting offer okay whatever that is whether they gave in some type of temptation whether that's a, another person or just a way of being you know like people get tempted to do certain things all the time and this person they they a power tripper whoever this is it's like they trip off of power i feel like this person was just clinging on to you to have some type of control maybe you gave them a sense of power maybe at one point you handed your power over to this individual and then when you took it back they like man they ain't know how to handle it because maybe you the first person that ever even put that person on some type of pedestal or like raise them up to the point where they had some type of power over your energy at some point some of y'all probably like no they didn't but whoever this is they felt like they did so even if you feel like you didn't give your power over to this person they felt like you did okay so because they definitely felt like they can just do whatever and just come up into your life and shake shit up you know what i'm saying and not change like whoever this is you gave them multiple chances and maybe their last chance was this autumn season and they messed that up too and it's because they they literally took a, a or maybe you even gave into temptation with them and you realized that you paid a, a a significant price 
for allowing this person back into your life, whatever that significant price may be. You know what I'm saying? It could have just caused more delays for you, caused some type of bad luck, caused illness, whatever the case is. Because you know when we connect with uh, like lower vibrational people, sometimes we take on their karma. You know what I'm saying? So you done doing that. It's like, no, you know, we not on the same wavelength. Yeah, but now this person seeing things from a different perspective. Now they in this hangman reverse energy where they've had some type of awakening and now they seeing things from your point of view, but they only seeing it because like I said, you left them out in the cold, put them out, won't let them back in. And it's because this person was lazy. They were lazy. You don't want to fight for it. This person loved the way that you was fighting for their love. They did. At, when you was at the point, and I feel like that might have been what they wanted from you, like maybe they have... Maybe it's a romantic rival involved. Yes, and it is. Oh my God, y'all. I didn't see that till I looked down. But with the two, three of cups in reverse, it's like you eliminated yourself from the equation. It's like, why am I here then? If there's so many other people, if you got so many other choices, if I'm just second choice, second pick, second fiddle, whatever this person was trying to consider you, then I might as well be done because you know your worth here. And if you didn't, then this situation taught you. Yes, and you're taking a new leap of faith. This person didn't even think that you would um, ever free yourself from this situation because I do feel like you gave this person too many chances, to be honest with you. So much so that they, they thought that, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, so this person, somehow they still thought that they was going to get a victory with you. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, you also could have been taking on this person's karma, poverty, money issues. Now they heartbroken. I mean, this is crazy, y'all. I, I just don't even understand, like, how people be thinking you're going to fight for the bare minimum. Okay, yeah, you released them. You could have been clinging on to them, holding on to them at one point. You know, whoever this person is, it's like you couldn't. Like, I'm telling you, it was, it's something about money with this person. And this person could be a narc. They could be a narcissist. Yeah, so now they want to hoover. You know, they want to come back in. They would go through extensive periods of, like, uh, silent treatment. They wasn't telling you the truth. They knew a lot more than what they were telling you. And for a lot of you, it could have been that they had you in like a polyamorous or uh, an open relationship without telling you that they had somebody else. Yup, yeah, it was a queen of wands here. Or you could be the queen of wands, whoever this person is. They can see you, you know, as this beautiful energy. But it's like, I don't know what the case is here. Yeah, I just keep seeing that you found out you was a third party and you let it go. And if you didn't like exactly find out, then their behavior was leading you to believe that there was somebody outside of you because evidently you was being breadcrumbed and you refused to be breadcrumbed, okay? But like I said, if this person was telling you lies or they wasn't being honest about their relationship status or that they wanted to see other people, you know, you... You had to trust your own intuition with this situation here because somebody wasn't being honest, okay? And you you could have been fighting for it and that could have been giving this person a, a huge ego trip. Like, yeah, because I don't feel like anybody been willing to fight for this person. Now it's like this person, you see them for what they really are. They couldn't sell you, like I said, I said this in another reading. They couldn't sell you a dream if it was as cheap as a penny with a hole in it. If it was a dollar ninety nine, if it was free ninety nine, they couldn't sell you a dream. It's like free dreams over here, and you're like, I'll, I'll pass, cause the shit looking more like a nightmare. Okay, whoever this is. So I don't know who this is in y'all life, but whoever this is, it's like all you need to know is that you don't want this person back. You're not letting them in. Whatever, uh, you might have even told them that this was their last chance and they still pissed on it. <laughs> like, whoever this is, like, they literally took you for a joke, you know? And I'm not saying that you are. Obviously, you're not because you were serious. Yeah, and y'all got some Akashic background. So you and this person was supposed to balance out past life karma. <sighs> this person was supposed to awaken before this actual ending came to be. Why is the hangman in reverse? But they would stand, yeah, being in this runner energy, thinking that you was going, they found out you wasn't a people pleaser. They thought that you would be because maybe at one point you was truly fighting for this, like I said. Um, no. <laughs> you know, and you could have been getting this sign and ignoring it. 
you don't, you probably don't even realize that this person be leaving negative comments or they be gang stalking you in some kind of way. They got other people gang stalking you in some kind of way. Or it could be this third party that they dealing with that was gang stalking you, you know, just because you were a romantic rival and they thought you was going to keep fighting for that. It's like, no, let me out of here. Y'all love you to the moon and back in reverse. So you could have told this person you will always love them and they, they took that shit to heart. Yeah, this person is an attention whore. And they don't be doing nothing. They don't really be giving nobody nothing to be fighting for anyway. You or the other individual. So if y'all was fighting, it was foolishly. Not trying to say it like that, but you woke up anyway. So thank God for that. Start every day with laughter. They thought the shit was funny. This person could have recently got into a car accident. And it could have been a brand new car. But they was living their best life. They was feeling like life is good. This and that. This could be a Taurus energy. Or they could have been dealing with a Taurus outside of you. Or you could be a Taurus, okay? Why is we also get Aries energy here, Aquarius, Pisces energy as well? Why is the fool here? Oh, yeah. Y'all groovy. Yeah, energy vampire. You're not dealing with, listen, you awaken to the fact that this person was just using you for energy. And that could have been a reason why you took on that karma. They could have been doing really, really well. Like if you was doing well and you was like exchanging energy with this individual, spending time in their space, making love to them or whatever, they took on your prosperity and you could have took on their poverty for a while. And you like, nah, when you awaken to that, you start turning down a dick. Like, no, thank you. No, thank you. Because it's coming with no heart. Okay. Because all of this green is my heart chakra energy. So it was like, they was bringing this, but they wasn't bringing that emotion. You not dealing with no energy vampires with closed off heart spaces. No more. You not giving this person no attention. And that's what they are. They are attention whore. So, you know, and they could have been wanting you to like, like turn down other suitors and stuff like that. Even knowing that they wasn't going to give you nothing, you know? So let's see. Y'all, yeah, they a narc. They a narcissist. So if you thought that, you was right. I told you, this person is a false supporter. So this person can definitely be doing negative shit. Like, I don't care what kind of business you got. I don't even care if you work at a company. You know, this person can be calling, complaining to your boss about services or your phone mannerism or whatever the case is. But whoever this is, it's like they don't really want you to do well. They may tell you that like, oh, I hope you make it or you're going to get through or it's going to be okay. But they the very essence of the individual that's like, I hope they feel. I hope it don't be okay. I hope you sad today. Like that is, they just ridiculous and nasty. But then they once, yeah, because they think they some type of gangster and you might have broke their heart. Now, something going to happen with this person today. What's going to happen today, spirit, when it comes down to this person that think they a gangster? And it's like they a celebrity or you could be a celebrity in the making. And maybe that's what this person is so intimidated by. Okay. Love is love is love. Let's see. What's going to happen with this person today, spirit? Yeah, they might try to make lemonade out of lemons that they put here. All right. Y'all just let that shit go. They feel like... I'm getting Sagittarius energy. That could be who they're dealing with on the outside because I'm getting a combative Sagittarius. I got multiple cards of Sagittarius in here. This is like that warrior energy. So they could have been dealing with a fire sign outside of you. That could be the Aries, the Leo, or the Sagittarius because I'm getting Leo here too. You know, so, or you could be that. It doesn't matter. But whoever you are in this situation, this could be even you. Like, you know what? I'm not dealing with your shits. They could be a Sagittarius and you could be fighting them off. Like, no, thank you. Because whoever this is, it's like they looking at you as somebody that can't let go. They can't, they don't want to let you go, but they feel like you can't let go of the past. Good times together. You don't see it. You like, I don't see what good times you're talking about. This person just spreading themselves thin. They can have a lot of different news in their phone from different women. Okay. Why is the three of swords here? What's the T, sis? So if you guys are awakened or something, that's another reason why they can't deal. Yeah, that's why this storm angel. So here's the thing. You're making a believer out of them. That's what I'm seeing happen here. If they wasn't the type to believe in like intuition and spirituality, you're making a believer out of them because you found out whatever you found out through your intuition and you called that shit out. 
Now this person is due for a death and a rebirth themselves. They was dealing with you for sure when they had somebody else. They wasn't supposed to be dealing with you. I'm getting Scorpio energy here. Okay, adventure. Yeah, this person was just looking for fun. They could have been looking like trying to use you for money, thinking that you're naive. Now they see you moving on, and that's just, that's it. You know, I'm getting Capricorn energy now, too. So, you can't, you don't even want a friendship with this person. That's, that's just that. But they're going to be coming in trying to call you or message you and confess some type of love to you or whatever the case is. DM you, slide in your DMs, be looking at your pictures. It's like they realize they need to grow up because you could have been a dream wo woman. You coming up as this strong, independent woman, but instead of them rising to the occasion, they want to try to bring you down. And that's the reason why it's not working out because this person is insecure when it comes down to a woman that's strong, that's awakened, that's like this cosmic uh, beauty. You know what I'm saying? Like whoever this is, it's like they used to have all the attention. So if they meet another a woman that get more attention than them, then, you know, they may act very freaking light skin and and like try to bring you down make you feel like you're not beautiful this would be the type of person that will even physically abuse you so that you can be walking around with a shiner instead of your beautiful skin so i wouldn't even deal with them because like i said the temptation come at a high price let's clarify that because i want to know what's the price so y'all can know just not to take this person back what's the high price spirit i feel like it's them that fell for temptation you could have been a temptation, honestly. Because it seemed to me like this person got like a main person. Yeah, five of cups. Sadness. And this person manifested you. Don't this look like the same thing? Okay, this look like the same hole. So it's like this person manifested you out of this vortex. And then it's like they poured this, the cup that they manifested down that vortex. Y'all, now they trying to come in and save it. But you gave them, you gave them one last chance and they blew it. Y'all, nine of wands. Now you're going to be guarded against them. You're going to have your guards sky high. And like I said, with the three of wands in reverse, they blocked. There's no movement forward with this. You don't see this as your ships coming in. You see this person as somebody that's not equally yoked. You know, not on your intellectual level. Um... You see this person is somebody that's flighty. I'm telling you, this person may be trying to come over. They're trying to rush in. I feel like if they live in the same city or state as you, they're going to be driving fast to your house. And I mean, they're going to be speeding on the freeway if they stay on the freeway. But they're just trying to come in with sex. And you're going to turn them down. You're going to turn them deep down. Okay? What's the high price, spirit? The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I'm trying to tell you, Three of Swords in reverse. You're trying to heal from this. They want to heal this. Listen, they trying to. This is this is the the high price. The devil. This person is obsessed with trying to choose or trying to get you to change your perception when it comes down to them. But it's like the devil live in their mind. You see how they a puppeteer for for uh for shadow energy. You see what I'm saying? They a puppeteer for the devil. Why is the devil here? telling you taking on this person's karma y'all losing opportunities just for some charm you know and this person probably charming many other people as well y'all moon in reverse you already know the truth about this person and you made up your mind you're not going back to them because you see them as nothing but a liar a cheater, a deceiver, a heartbreaker, a thief, or whatever they are. Whatever they've been in your life, you just like, no, you can't be trusted. You reek of deception. That's all you do is la, 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 la. Every time you talk, your nose grow, okay? So, with that being said, you guys are moving forward. And this person have to sit with the lesson that they need to learn, okay? Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe. And I'll check you guys out in the next one. Peace.